recording. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm going to let you guys catch up to me. So go ahead and make an ellipse select tool, fill it in, and make your bun just like I did. And if you guys get stuck, go ahead and ask. I'm back on my screen. I'm back to uh, Hello, I'm Learning, GIMP. I've got that box. How do I get rid of it? Uh, just click File, New. File, New. And then just leave it on the default settings for now and just click OK. OK. I've got a new box. So I spell that. Edit. How do I get to select? Uh, I make a bun, rather. Well, um, you're gonna. You need to, the first thing you need to do is make a new layer. How do I do that? So layer new. Um, new layer. Yeah, actually, that will work. You can click layer and then click new mm -hmm. layer. Okay. And that, I'm gonna make you the presenter so I can see what you're doing. Okay. Um, just go ahead and accept that, and then give me the ability to. Take control if I need to. Okay. Now, okay. Okay. Now what? Now, if you click um, on the right side, I can see your layers dockable dialog right there. It's just kind of buried underneath your channels. So if you click right here, mm -hmm. it'll bring your layers up. So now you'll see you have two layers here. You've got a layer, and you've got a background. Okay. Um. Now, if you click on the, you are now editing the layer that we're going to use for your bun. So go ahead and click on the ellipse select tool. Which there you go. Mm -hmm. okay. And you'll notice that your tool options in the bottom left corner of your screen um, changed. Set mm -hmm. check yeah. the box that reads fixed. Yep. Okay. And now it's going to lock it on one to one so it's going to make mm -hmm. a perfect circle. Okay. So now if you click and drag there you go. Just make the bun within the size of your canvas, a little smaller than that. There you go. Uh, all right, make it smaller. Okay. There you go. Now, uh, click on your bucket fill tool. Bucket fill. Okay. And then click on your black foreground color. Uh huh. And set it to a brown kind of color. So, um, to do, I'll show you how this works. Let me let me take over here for a sec. Okay. So if you, this is your this changes the hue. Okay. So we're gonna set it to an orange kind of hue, and then if you click over here, it's gonna set the color within that hue, how light or dark it is. So we kind of you probably want to color right around and there. So then just click OK, and now your color's set. So go ahead and fill it in. Okay, all right. There you go. Great. So now you're caught up to me.